Okay, so uh, me and mommy are gonna go uh, start working on my STEM fair project for school. And so basically what I'm doing is I'm doing a, a water filter project. So it's kind of to see what um, cleans water the best, kind of, in a way. So I went over to my friend's house and we did some things and we didn't get the best results. But we got some pretty good results. And so we're gonna use some of the information that we got from the um, experiments I did at my friend's house. We're gonna put them in this experiment. Okay, so first you're gonna take a mason jar filled with clear water. And you're gonna take some red dye, which will represent chemicals and um, bad toxins inside of the water. And you're just gonna squirt some of that in there. Then you shall like stirring and stir it all up. And maybe nice and pretty. Ooh. Okay, so next you're gonna take a coffee filter. And you're gonna place it down in the bottom. I can get this to cooperate. Whoa! Oh no. Like that. We're gonna place that down so that anything left over from the rest of the filtering doesn't come down with it. What is that plastic thing? This? Yep. That's just a soda bottle that <laughs> we were containing everything in. Okay, so the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bag of charcoal, you're gonna tip this part over, and stick it in. Easy, but whatever the heck. I'm just gonna shove it all in. Woo. Next, you <laughs> stick your coffee filter into the, on top of the charcoal, like so, without tipping it. Very carefully sand. We're gonna pour some sand on top of the coffee filter. Very careful at Flop! That looks perfect. Awesome. And then just kind of flatten it out. And after the sand. And on top of this one, we're gonna have some gravel. We got this at um, a pet store. It's just for fish tanks and stuff. So this will work good if you're doing this at home. I wonder if we need to cut it open bigger. Um, I can just rip it open wider. Yeah, you could just dump some in there. I'm afraid to dump it all in there. This is a messy process. So once you run water through your um, filter, then you're gonna take your red water, you're gonna pour it through the top. That's a lot. That's good. Maybe and then she... and you're gonna wait for it to go through the whole cycle, and we're gonna see um, how clean it is at the end. Mm. Okay, so that's how you make your water filter, and yeah. Starts off pink, ends up clear. The before and the after. Okay, so. We're on our way to the STEM fair. Yay, We're gonna yay, see yay, everybody's, yay. Tyler's and Kayla's projects. Tyler's is bigger and it's like Tyler's more. project, he's Tyler's got like first place, first place in his class. Yes, so and we're gonna go check that out and see what it's about. And then we're gonna go see Kayla's and what see what that's about. Basically, um, fourth grade and younger, does, um, like they have to do it. So um, all the kids can participate in voting for who's is the best. But in fifth grade and up, you don't have to do the STEM fair. Um, so not all the kids in every class do it. So it's like, it would be taking time out of class to do it. So hopefully I win the um, fifth grade one so that I can move on to the next level. But that didn't, that I don't think that's gonna happen because there's probably a lot of cooler projects than mine. And I saw one cute build, uh, build a robotic arm. 
One kid in my class last year tried to build one of those, but it just ended up being a noodle with a hand on it that a person in a wheelchair can grab and somehow use to grab something. I don't know how that works, but yeah. The, so, they already had stuff for the, there's the little yeah. claws that you punch. They have yeah. mechanical arms too. They have 3D printed arms too. Yeah. Yeah. That look like Transformers. Yeah. Okay, we're here. We got here early, so we get to look at all the projects before it gets all crowded. But my project is priority. We have to put water in the top because it's like a water filter thing. And it takes a couple minutes for the water to start dripping down. So we're gonna work on that before everyone gets here. So. Yeah, we're gonna work on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you talk about this project? Okay, here's Kayla's project. It's a DIY water filter project with her friend. Here's some of the pictures. Don't close up on that one. That was bad. That was good. This, this is the, the water before and after. It's starting to get real noisy in here because all the kids are coming in for their science projects. This is her whole board. It's talking about the research, what kind of questions, the materials they used. So here's basically the water, the blue water before. The idea is that the water will be clear at the end, at the bottom. So that's what's dripping at the bottom, is clear water. Okay, here's Tyler's project. It's called the Garda Fast. Worst name ever. No. It's awesome. So Tyler has this idea of gardening using this contraption that he built. Tyler made it so that you can roll this object back and forth and it's going to plant seeds in the front and then it's going to water behind. And that's going to be helping him to garden. So now he has his project, uh, his invention with his friend and they put it together in the backyard. And this is Tyler's invention for gardening. This is another cool project that someone has done and it's about it's about uh, green being green and how the plants filter the water for the fish and so it shows right here how fish can live because the water on top the plants are filtering the water and that's like a natural water filter for the fish you guys want to sample something I have three things you could try one. You want to try some? Just eat the whole thing? Yeah, eat the whole thing. So they're healthy plants to eat. They're very healthy. The chefs buy these and Is then they like end lettuce? up being decorations on. I mean, these are fancy chefs, not wow. McDonald's or. Good job, Ty. That was our STEM for our project. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!